right guys, so it is official. This is day one of Mo Party. So this is Friday, September the 16th. Just rolling in here in the Hell Ram, and I think we have autocross in the Dakota coming up first. So I'm gonna film that adventure with you guys, and it uh, should be a good day. So let's get into it. Okay, so I definitely wanna check this out at some point this week in the swap meet, see if there's any good stuff in there. Probably sooner the better. Just because if there's anything good, it's probably gonna get scooped up early, but all kinds of parts, all sorts of car show stuff. So we'll take a walk around here at some point this weekend, see what kind of interesting builds and vehicles we see. I gotta get my butt over to the Dakota though, because I think they're doing the driver's meeting in a minute. A little Dakota. Yeah, all kinds of classics. Yeah, I saw the autocross cars over there, so I definitely gotta get my butt over there. This is where we'll be parked all weekend again, you guys. So we're gonna be at the Holly booth here. So both trucks, if you guys are coming out, we will be here at this Holly booth. Check out our competition for uh, autocross. I think we might be at a slight disadvantage, boys. <laughs> we got a Viper with full arrow in front of us. This thing is sick. I'm gonna have to take a look at it once we hop out here. I'm just pulling up to get to the autocross thing here. Man, I brought the wrong car. This thing is sick. <laughs> How's she handle? Probably decent, right? Pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I have an ACR at home, but just decided to bring this out to play today. Look, that thing's autocrossing, so I don't feel so bad. Let's go walk the course real quick, check it out, and then I guess we'll be going out pretty soon. Ooh, another RT. Dang, so look at this thing. Gen 3 with a Magnuson. So this is gonna be the track. This is like, you come in here, like it's dead straight away. And then we're gonna come through here, do all sorts of turns. So wherever you see the cones like laid down, kind of pointing, you're supposed to be on the inside of that. So see how they're like laid down and then the green, you have to be on the inside of that green. That thing is rad. It's oh, the car. It's the purple car. I, I wanna, I'm gonna have to go check it out. Yeah, like this thing is around. rad. So that was definitely better, but you guys can see how sketchy it is. This thing is a handful. So 
definitely not made for what we're doing, but it's definitely fun. Okay, so last one we ran a 47. And I was still using the paddles at downshift, but I think I might rely on the just full auto mode and just try to use the brakes. And then the next test I want to do is turn the horsepower down. trying to use the engine braking because I'm losing too much time I'm trying to downshift at the same time. I'll just let it kind of do its thing. The few sections where I'll leave it, like I'll downshift it like through the slalom and stuff, it's nice to have that kind of engine braking, but. Okay, here we go for another run, you guys. I'm gonna just leave it in full track mode, try to just dial in me using the shifter or the paddles and not, so. Trying to use like the paddle shifters to downshift so I can lose some speed, use engine braking, and then letting it upshift manually instead of trying to put in full manual because it's just when the steering wheel is upside down to try to shift it is just a, a chore. So 44 is still our best time, but I promise you we will beat up by the end of today. Okay, so I was gonna try to run 500 horsepower mode, but it won't let you run 500 horsepower mode and track mode on the shift, watch. If I put it in 500, it changes it to the street transmission tune. It won't let me do sport and won't let me do track. So I guess we'll just leave it in track mode. I'll just try to modulate the power with my foot. That's all I can really do in this thing, you guys. She's just full sin.
44s, boys. So they got a few cars for sale too, you guys. Real quick. 44.5 for a Super B. In case you guys want one of these Rams. It's got 12,000 actual miles. It's like new. Actually new. <laughs> Pretty much new. <laughs> got a 72 Duster for 12 grand. You had it very well. So if I need some body work. I got this thing here. He wants 4,000 for this guy. And this one. 200,000. Got a little guy here. Let's see a price on this one. I want to say it was around 20 grand for that one. <clears throat> and then this one, let's see. 22. Not sure the price on this one, but this one they're asking 10 for. But there's a whole swap meet here, so I'm gonna go see what parts we can find, see if there's anything cool. And if I find something cool, I'll show you guys. Rusted out little Red Express, somebody's selling too. And just endless parts. So if you guys ever need something for your Mopar, you will find it here. It's all kinds of stuff. So if I had like a classic, this would definitely be ideal because I could find all sorts of little parts and pieces, but I'm definitely not in need of any of that kind of stuff just yet, but options are endless here. There's one guy over there, he actually has Ram door panels and he said that he might have two door panels that he might be able to pull for me tomorrow. So might be able to get some power windows and power door locks on the Hell Ram, which would be nice, but let me see what else I can find. That would be awesome if I just walked around for five minutes and made that connection to get those done. That way we could have power when we get home, boys. Look at this thing I found, you guys. It says, please do not touch. It's like a barn find that they don't want to clean up. Look at all these little cocoon things on top. Guess somebody's going to be restoring her soon. Let's see what else I can find. And the next thing you know, they're sending these bad boys to the moon. So, uh, oh, guys, let's see what happens. What's old dude's name? Barry's in a complete dude. stock truck. This this stock this supercharger, thing? no turbo, oh, no tune, yeah. no, 100% stock. Well, here he he's gonna, I tell you, I tell you, he's not scared. It's coming. Oh, it's coming. Yeah. Keep it counted, Amy. Keep it counted. Oh. Yes! Oh, as you see, guys. All it takes is just a little bit of goading them to it. That's all it takes. Jeez. Are you ready to rock and roll, dear? All right, just roll that window. No, you no. are ready to clean. I mean, I don't know what that means, but... Well, this is the uh, Mopar like off-road off -road yeah. experience. You guys just saw that T-Rex. Yeah. I don't know why he called you it. a Georgia peach when he we'll just keeps his time, but that's what he said as soon as he got out. There. We got a Jeep. Oh, he was taking... Oh, here we go. A couple T-Rex. All right, guys, here at Party Excuses 2020. See, he does. Oh, that little turn right there gets him a little... Slows them down a little bit, but man, that truck's oh. got the torque. It picks it up quick. Oh! <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Amy, where's he at time wise? 35. So him and Barry are off. I want to see if he launched it off this jump. I think he's running somewhere seven to nine pounds of boost, something like that. So he's still got plenty of boost. He can turn this up if he wanted. He's on a mission. Oh, I don't think you he hear got that. Amy, where do you? So yeah, but when you come back around here, you're racing all the way back to here. So you can proceed that way after you're done using this cool down or finish going around just to be aware of everything, so okay? We two TRXs, but, uh, this one racing. You are so far the fastest one. of the day, 59.7. We'll start in different spots of the He's track. 59.8. Whoever's fastest back to so the So you're still a tenth of a second of more Wins. of a man than he is. So, so here we go, guys, we're going. Three, two, one. Let's see what happens here, folks. Woo! Oh. Barry oh. did not care on that first jump once again. I can tell you what, these guys are, they do oh, not want to lose. It. At all. That is so, Amy just informed me that I had a tiger, I mean, just playing while the sprint is going down. It could not get any better. Oh, jeez. Jody making some good, some good progress. I mean, technically, they're, they're really close to neck and neck here. Jody may have him by a little bit. Uh oh. Looks like Barry's taking it a little bit easier on this route. 
Jody is out for blood. Oh, he can't hurt. Hey, he went off the track. Uh oh, Jody went wide, got slowed down pretty good there. That's gonna that hurt guy his can time. See. So dusty. Tell you, Barry doesn't really slow down at all. Let's see what happens. I'm trying to keep a close eye on this for you guys, but just a little bit dusty. All right, Barry coming down the finish line. Oh, I think Jody's gonna get him. I hate to say it, but I think Jody's gonna get him. Oh, you got him. oh Jody got him. Jody got him. How did the other guy's airbags go off? It was just how he landed. Oh. It was just perfect landing for it to go off. Which truck was that one that went off? That one, right? Oh, that one. Yeah. That one's got the pump. Oh, I had all my safety stuff turned off. I don't know if he had his or not, but Oops. you can turn everything off, you know? Yeah. This one. So apparently all the airbags went off in this one. It broke the windshield.